Mitraya Namaha Thank you for being in the energy circles Welcome to energy circles VSP 1080 channel Thank you for the huge response Crossing more than 600 videos in this channel I will be very thankful to you if you can subscribe please forward it to the like-minded people let the energy circles engulf you into positivity visiting temples regularly will change your perception about life divinity is the royal pathway Bhakti is your very personal love affair with God. Visiting temples regularly will change your perception about life. We are now in a very peculiar world where politics is given a varied perspective. Politics is existing between us from ages. Notorious kids throw blame on someone else and escape from being caught. Politics between relationships, hypocritic behavior is nothing but politics. Drawing the attention of others in favor of your perception is politics. Spirituality too is thus politicized. It's okay. It has both sides, the truth and the false. The worship of statues is mocked at by few and it is politics. But I am not here to focus on politics or opinions that differ. We say faith is the master key and surrender is the password. We are quite clear about it. Every individual has his own fundamental right to practice any discipline, code or procedure without offending or depriving others of their rights. Let us stick on to this very strongly. We believe in energy circles and positive vibrations. We also know that there are both negative and positive sides of the energies and vibes. Many of us suffer from several hurdles, conflicts, illness, suppressions, delays and failures in our day-to-day -day attempts. Unable to complete education successfully, unable to bear the fees and expenses for education, Unable to counter the aggressive crooked behaviors of our own neighbors, boss, colleagues, friends and family members. Unable to get a proper job, no growth, no promotion, no hike in salary, no support, no proper income source, no stamina to withstand minor health issues, no clarity of thought, no care, no love, no mutual understanding, no light ahead and nothing works. Is it astrology, planets, vastu, evil eye, black magic, health complication, conspiracy or bad luck? No, no right answer. Nothing seems to happen in favor. It is all energy. It is all about the auras and vibrations, frequencies and thought process. There are countless yantras, mantras, pujas, tools, talismans, gemstones, charms and healing methodologies which seem to work only by faith and surrender, whether it is placebo effect or power of manifestation. They are all controversial, involved into many doubts and problems because the depth of faith and the high-end expenditure involved in it. Let us not think about them as there is a lot of money involved and rituals to perform. We are talking about vibrations that are freely available to us, to anyone and everyone. 
If you spend some time in a cancer ward, lunatic asylum, roadside bar, rough street party or indulge into some conflict or fight, your mind and body are subject to change. The negative vibrations penetrate into you. Watch your mind, watch your thoughts, you are manifesting them. Where the minds are pure, serene and calm, where love, compassion and unconditional zoonographic love exist, your mind and body are loaded with positive vibrations. Yes. Visiting temples daily will cleanse your auras, calm your mind, dip you into serenity and consciousness uplifts. Thus visiting temples daily can change your very perception about life. Remember, devotion is something related to your heart. Bhakti is your personal love affair with God. If your heart and mind are purified, sanctified and divine, no problems can ever perturb you. The entire complications of life at every juncture, every pace happen because of the mind and the manipulations. If the mind is calm, you will not encroach into the comfort zones of others. Make the noble habit of visiting temples regularly. It is a cluster of positive energy that will encircle you if you could involve every family member to join you. Sunday is a very powerful day to visit Vishnu temples, Sri Ram temples, Krishna or Narasimha Swami temples. Surya Narayana is Aditya and sun is immensely pacified if you don't fail to visit temples on Sundays. It is not a must that you need to visit any particular temple or deity. Just being in the auric energies of any temple is enough to arrest all negative energies. Hearing the ringing of bells will dilute all pains and sorrows. The elaborate mantras chanted, the crowd going around the temple will clear away so much of clutter from your mind. This should become a daily habit and it should continue each time for at least 21 days in a row. Doing it for 365 days continuously will brighten your auric fields immensely. Even if you cannot chant mantras, simply chant OM. It will make it a powerful exercise. If you are visiting Shiva temples on Mondays and also doing Pratakshinas going around the main deity to Navagrahas regularly at least 19 times will give you clarity of thought and will allow you to take bright decisions that help you in all walks of life. If you are able to pour fresh water or coconut water or milk upon a Shivalinga, just simply chanting Om Namah Shivaya will give you so much of positive energy that your auric feels brighten. Visit Kartikeya temples or Hanuman temple on Tuesdays and see the confidence level boosting up. Visit any Vishnu, Rama or Krishna temple on Wednesdays and see how wise you will be in every transaction and working pattern. Visit any Guru temple, Dattatreya, Raghavendra Swami, Sai Baba or any Avaduta temple to experience timely guidance and protection. Visit any Devi temple or Durga temple on Fridays and see how your charisma and power of communication improves. On Saturdays, Visit Balaji temple or Shiva temple or the Navagrahas and see how your long-standing problems melt away. If you make it a habit to visit any temple and every temple daily, you will get fresh thoughts, good ideas and gain clarity with every deal you strike. You will gain foresight. 
you gain more of individuality and many unwanted emotions vanish from within you one who is deep into devotional spiritual energy circles has no time to criticize or argue or quarrel with others calmness is restored Visiting temples daily converts you into an embodiment of positivity. You seldom mourn, complain and criticize others. You learn to move away from negative energies. Even negative people cannot withstand your auric fields. They flee. During tough situations when crooked people attempt to trouble you, when jealousy and hatred try to pounce upon you, the power of your anushthana, puja bhakti and upasana will manifest countless warriors and the unlimited weapons that protect you miraculously bhakti is your very personal love affair with god divinity is the royal way make it a habit to visit temples with your entire family let the next generation experience the powers of divine living teach them shlokas mantras and mudras chanting to get the intimate touch and feel of god bhakti and hatred do not fit into one holster let us choose bhakti as our weapon silence as our conduct yes silence is more powerful a weapon yes once again i remind you bhakti is your very personal love affair with god divinity is the royal pathway aditya sakshi sampurna raksha sarve jana sukhino bhavantu loka samasta sukhino bhavantu hari om tat sat